So let's talk about Haaland. I wanted to talk about Haaland today because Haaland is rumored to go everywhere except Bayern. And that's the funny part. He's rumored to go everywhere except Bayern. You've got him being linked to Chelsea. You've got him being linked to Manchester United. You've got him being linked to Barcelona, to Real Madrid. He's basically linked to every single team out there. Um, but he's not been linked with Bayern. And I understand why. Because we're probably one of the few clubs. Actually, no, we are one of the, we are one of the only clubs in world football that um, has a striker. That has a good striker. Every other team doesn't. Look at your Real Madrid. They've got Benzema, but he is quite old. Um, he's actually not that much older than Lewandowski, granted, but he is quite old. You go to Barcelona, they don't really have a striker. Braithwaite, okay, cool. Um, Chelsea, hmm, not really. Um, if you go, you go to Manchester United, hmm, not really. Young prospects, but hmm, yeah. Cavani, okay, but hmm, yeah. Then you go over to City. Also not really, so you just in that weird predicament where like all these teams are crying out for a striker and don't want to have their striker. Now there are some conflicting reports. Some reports say that the release clause in Haaland comes into effect this year. But I believe it was Dortmund himself, I think it was Zork himself, or maybe it was Watz Watzke, uh, who basically said that the release clause doesn't come into effect until next season. So here's my thing. Haaland obviously wants to play in a Champions League, obviously, right? And that's basically the standard. You have to think, if he wants to play in the Champions League and don't want to make it to the Champions League this season, it's a big if, granted, you know, getting fourth, it's a big if, but if they make it into the Champions League this season, would he stay for another season? Debatable. There aren't many clubs that can really afford that much uh, due to COVID. So maybe Dortmund would request like, you know, 150, potentially 150, and that would block any transfer this season. That would be something, I'd say. That would absolutely be something. I think if he stays, if he remains at Dortmund this summer, uh, we'll, we'll sign him next summer. I think we'd activate his release clause. I know it sounds ridiculous, oh, another signing from Dortmund. When you look at our current policy of buying players, we buy young players. We buy... Is that green? Yes, that's green. We buy young, good players, you know. Granted, Harlem is a bit younger than everyone else, but if we buy him, we basically saw it for 10 years. So, we generally buy, you know, good, young players. Um, which is why I think he would definitely suit us as a player. I am quite worried. A little bit because I personally don't think he is. Uh, let me let me be careful what I say now. I do think he's excellent. I don't think he's quite as good as many people are saying. <sighs> he's clinical. He's a he's probably the most clinical striker in world football right now. But he his overall game lacks, and that's kind of why we, that's kind of like why obviously we upgraded from say Mandzukic, um, from Gomez. To now Lewandowski because Lewandowski's overall game is significantly better. Haaland, Haaland is def I would say that Haaland is more clinical than Lewandowski, but I would also say that Lewandowski just offers a lot more than Haaland. Like his overall gameplay, that's where he's lacking. So for me, it's just the case of do you necessarily think we're, not, we're never going to play with like the same exact style? So. You know, once a new manager comes in, so on and so forth. If a new manager comes in in the future, who knows how long Flick will stay. Obviously, a new manager will always have their own philosophy, their own tactics, their own style. But to me, I'm looking at it, I'm like, I'm thinking, hmm. Would Haaland work at Bayern? Yes. Would... I don't know. I'm actually, I'm actually not sure. Because with the amount of chances that we create, I think Haaland would score a lot of goals. But I don't think he'd be more than just a goal scorer for us. I don't think he would take the next step for him personally. While I think... While I think... Um, while I think he would work at Bayern very well, I don't think... Let me rephrase that. While I think... Him, um, while I think the club would do very well with him, I don't think he would do very well with Bayern. I don't think he would develop a lot. Because at Bayern, you know, we're playing, 
you're getting the ball up, you know, he has to, have, he has to be strong with the hold up play, get other players involved. That's not really Haaland's strength. So for me, it's just a case of his qualities, while excellent, I don't think necessarily suit us. So that's my take on this whole situation, this whole scenario. Um, would I want some? Of course I'd take it. Like, if, if we were to sign him, I'm not going to complain. Right? I want to be with someone else complain. I definitely think, you know, he's only 20 years old, 21, whatever, how old, however old he is. So there's a lot of things that he can obviously work on. So I'm not that worried or anything of that sort. I'm just, for me, I'm just thinking, uh, is that the best option? I'm not 100% sure. But, I mean, I do think we're going to sign him. I, I do think we're going to sign him. I know it sounds kind of ridiculous, but I do think we're going to sign him. I do think it's going to be a case of... 1146 what time 38 okay cool eight minutes cool yo um i do think we're gonna sign him i do think it, he basically takes all the boxes that we're looking for but then again it also depends on how good is Lewandowski gonna be in two years time because if Lewandowski is performing the same you know next summer by the end of next summer then you really have to question well is there space for Haaland? and then i would probably say mm, perhaps not but I think Lewandowski is probably going to slow down. He isn't a player that necessarily relies on pace. I know he's quite quick, but he doesn't really rely on pace. He relies on his overall game. Which is something I think is actually lacking with Haaland. So, yeah, I'm actually quite intrigued to see what will happen. Um, I think Lewandowski's career is going to be slowing down a lot slower than you might expect. But I don't think Haaland will definitely take over just yet. We'll see though. We'll see. I might just take it to the bus. Um, yeah. We'll see. For me, the answer is clear. Oh, for me, the thing is clear. We're going to sign Harlan next season. We're going to sign Harlan next season. So I'm sure there's really this clause. He's going to come. And that will be that. Um, I don't know it will be the most expensive transfer in our history, but at the end of the day, you know, it, it, our current most expensive transfer is obviously a defender. And in world football, you kind of want your key players, your big players, your you know your brand to be strikers. Unfortunately, I personally would have liked you know defenders to be valued a lot more than they are now, but that's not the case. So it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to complain about it. But that's just my thoughts, my overall thoughts on this whole situation. I know everyone's talking about Harlem right now, so I kind of wanted to get into that hype. But I think we're going to be the club that signs him. There are no rumors. There is no. You know, I don't have inside sources or anything of that sort, but I do think we're going to be the club that's going to go after Haaland. I think we're going to be the ones that are going to snatch him up if if he would, if uh, Dortmund managed to get top four this season. Because uh, they're not going to win the Champions League. That's, that's just not going to happen. But yeah, that's kind of what. Uh, that's kind of how I see it all happening. Um, but at the end of the day, that's just my opinion, that's just my thought. Uh, without any credibility to back it up and any play any you know big name sources to mention it either so that's just the way i see it unfortunately um or fortunately i guess depending on where you stand on this matter so yeah i'll see all of you in the next one and until then have a nice day peace out and bye